So a while ago, I tried installing Gentoo on MTFS and then failed pretty miserably. I got it to boot, but it wouldn't log in. I thought today, let's try taking on my arch nemesis and see if I can finish it. So, first things all we need to do is get a uh, VM working. Sure, let's start that up. We're going to use QEMU as usual. Let's make ourselves a QCAL image. So, QImage create QCAL2 Gen NT2 and let QCAL2. Also, we'll give that 30 gig. And then let's set up our system. So QEMU system x86 enable KBM. Uh, we'll give it 30 and 30 gig. We'll use drive file equals if equals verter and then cache equals off should give us the maximum speed oh, let's double check everything else cd-rom yeah i think that is everything okay let's boot uh, let's try again there we go All right oh what have I done? Ah, I've only given it 30 mega memory. Third time's a charm. Okay, and let's boot into this. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is make our partitions. So CF disk. BBA. Let's just use a DOS partition. New 30 gig primary, yes, and quit. Right, now let's make the file system. So make fs dot ntfs slash dev slash vda one. Okay, let's uh, try and mount that. So mount mount slash type ntfs. There we go. So if we now go to Gentoo. Yeah, let's see if we can download. So XVF stage. Off you go. Aha. So I think we use the distribution kernel for this, so... First things we will do is... And then let us use the uh, distribution kernel. Version uh, 2 kernel bin. Excellent, so we'll add that one. Dispatch config U and then nano. And I like to add the grab flag at the end there. Let's set some up bootloader as well. We'll also grab all the other system tools that we need as well while we're here and let that all compile. Well, when the mole's got a screw loose, bless his techie soul, install Gen 2 on NTFS, lost sight of his goal. 
He thought he was a genius, but ain't no wisdom to be found. His wild-eyed YouTube antics got him talked all over town. Fired up the system, and it crashed right on the spot. Drivers all went missing, and the screen stayed dark and hot. Tried to troubleshoot it, but the logs just brought in tears. That Gen 2 installation stretched his patience for years. Oh, Immoral, you silly techie clown. Install Gen 2 on NTFS, that sure brought you down. Next time, check your file system, don't rush into the fray. Or you'll find yourself in trouble at the end of every day. The folks in the chat room were laughing with a grin. And didn't you know better, they'd ask him time and again. With every blue screen error, he just wail and stare. And Molo's crazy venture brought him nothing but despair. He reached out to the forums, hoped in his techie eyes. But the more they tried to help him, the further went the cries. Went to a court, they shouted, but he'd refuse to concede. Determined to be stubborn, despite his growing need. Oh, Imalo, you silly techie clown. Install Gen 2 on NTFS, that sure brought you down. Next time, check your file system, don't rush into the fray. Or you'll find yourself in trouble at the end of every day. all set up so as you service and I'll guess we will install grub now so I've got grub install I should have VDA make config Give it a host name. Alright, let's try rebooting into this then, shall we? Well, that didn't go well. No. NTF3 slash dev. VDA1 Cicero Okay, let's try exiting Oh, that's because I haven't got uh, the... I haven't got the... What's the thing? The file system check tool. So let's go and install that. Let's rerun Draka. Let's try that again. <laughs> Alright. Let's remove the file system check then. So, if I do... Oh, 
Are we mounted? No. Mount Dev VDA1. VDA1. Sis uh, route. This route, etc. Yep, snap. <laughs> Have we got any now? I'm sure I could just do. <laughs> That's annoying. I guess we're rebooting him. Let's dev VDA one. TFS free. Let's turn off that. Okay. That should work now. So. Exit. U mount. Smash dev VDA1. Let's do a quick repair. So NTFS. Uh, A1. Okay, that's alright. Let's try powering off now then and rebooting again. <sighs> okay. So I think trial cuts here, should not it? Let's get rid of the init RAM FS then. No, it's E-Sight. Well, what we want to do is... Get rid of your eye cut. Don't do it this way normally. Right, then make J30. Make modules in store even though I'm gone in. And then make in store. Right. Let's try this then. No way.
<laughs> I've already done it. There we go. Gentoo running. <laughs> it's just there. <laughs> Gentoo running on NPFS. Well, after so long, we're finally there and done. Or oh, should we try and turn this into a full desktop system? I think it'll be fun, but let me know in the comments. What do you think? Should we work on that next? But yeah, there we go. Today you've seen a stupid man do a stupid task. So I will see you all on the next stupid project. Keep compiling. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Please. I make funny Gen 2 videos while also teaching you how to use it properly. If you want to help support me, then visit my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash imolo157. If not, just like and subscribe please, as it really helps with the algorithm.